Hey guys, good morning. Today we're heading to Montreal, Quebec. I'm just looking for my friends. You look so tired. Okay, so we're now at Union Station and we are now boarding the train. We are taking the train to go to Montreal, which is about six to seven hours train, I believe. Five to six, seven. I'm not entirely sure, but we're probably gonna be there around 12. So the six hours, because we're leaving around 6.40. All right, we made it into our train. So the reason why we're going to Montreal because it's my dear friend's birthday, Gabby. Yes, sir. You're gonna be seeing her face in these vlogs <laughs> <laughs> for the entire weekend. I'm gonna be vlogging for the entire weekend. So, like I said, we are taking the Via Rail train to go to Montreal, which is a six hour train ride, which is very nice because you get to see the countryside and everything. And I get to work for six hours on my laptop. We booked the premium economy, or no, we booked the economy, yeah, economy in this train, the cheapest. You know how those people on YouTube, they have like business class train tour, seats tour, business train tour. Now we're doing the economy tour. <laughs> so we get two chairs, a chair, this. That's it for the tour. That's really all you get. I hope you enjoyed that economy tour. So if you guys are visitors to Canada and if you want to go to Montreal from Toronto, you're visiting Toronto and you want to visit Montreal, it's very easy. It's only a six hour train ride. Like I said, I'm repeating myself. I think the tickets are 90, 80 to 90 dollars depending what time you want to book it. The earlier you book it, the cheapest. But if you book it during prime time, like the good hours around 10 or 12 that you don't have to wake up early, and then you have to pay a little bit extra. So it's just a little bit weird when we're booking our tickets. When you book our ticket, they give us like a uh, uh, boarding pass, electronic boarding, boarding pass, and it says here in our email that our seat number is 4D window. I get the 4D window and then it's car 7. And I feel like we were meant to be sitting right next to each other. And for some reason when we got here, they told me that there is no car 7. Car 7 doesn't exist. And apparently I, I don't sit in 4D seat, but I sit on 1D or 1C. So it's just a bit confusing. A little email would be great for your rail. Next time. We are going to two different directions today. Thank you very much. For those of you carrying a small bag backpack, carry on duffel bag, and if you left it in the front, in the baggage rack in the front of your car, please come back, retrieve them, and have them placed in your car. There's a long line up to go outside. <laughs> We've been waiting. How are you feeling, Palak? Ready for some poutine. That's, that's all, all I've been thinking that's about. That's all we came here for. <laughs> After poutine, poutine we're go. going home. All right, guys, after six hours on the train, we have finally arrived in Montreal. So the weekend fun, full of partying is gonna begin. No, I'm kidding. It's gonna be a relaxing weekend. It's gonna be a relaxing weekend. So right now we're just waiting on our Uber ride to go to our Airbnb and drop off our stuff. Maybe freshen up and we're gonna go straight ahead to poutine, to eat poutine. Because what better way to start our trip than eating poutine. So these are my travel buddies. This is Palak. We all met in university and it's her birthday this weekend. Did I do good or did I do good? I mean, I, I, I guess I get one bed for myself because I mean, I actually like the place. I got a workstation over here. Okay, I can edit my vlogs. <laughs> okay, y'all, it's not bad. I like this place. Okay, guys, let's do an Airbnb house tour. So we just did a quick outfit change and now we're ready to go out. We found an iron in this Airbnb. I was kind of worried that there's no iron and my clothes are fresh from the laundry and they're all stacked up in the suitcase. We found an iron, we ironed a bit and now we're ready to go out. 
What's the itinerary today? I still can't say that word. I'm about to travel the world and I can't say that word. What's the itinerary today? Poutine. First is poutine. That's all I know. Then that's all that's important. And there's a lot of festivals going on around the city right now. So there's, I hear there's a lot of jazz festival. A lot of roads are closed. So we're gonna go check out that and see what we get out of it. So let's go. Hey guys, this is our OTD for today. Oh, no, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe <not>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So, guys, like I said, first stop in the agenda is the poutine place. What's the name of the poutine place? Frit Alo. Frit Alo. When you think of Canada, poutine is the first dish that you think of, right? So, that's the first thing we're gonna try. Guys, I got so lucky booking our Airbnb because we live in a neighborhood where there's a lot of good food and there's a lot of graffiti art and beautiful people. So every time I come to Montreal, I get fortunate enough to live in Airbnb in different neighborhoods. I get to experience different neighborhoods. And this one is very, it's the nicest one so far. Like I said, there's a lot of restaurants, there's a lot of nice art stores. Apparently my friend said that in front of me right now is the best chocolate dessert place. Mm -hmm. We're going there after. Mm -hmm. We have one mission and one mission only. Oh, I was looking way ahead. So guys, we found the poutine place. It's called Frit Alo. 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 How's my French? Anyway, so we're situated in this window right here where we can people watch while we eat our poutine and they can watch us while we eat our poutine. It's like mukbang shows, right? So what are you, what is everyone getting? Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, Guys, they have dessert put in the menu. I don't know how I feel about that. Should we share? Because we want dessert after. Yeah. I think we should get two poutines between the three of us and that's enough. Yeah. Guys, food is here. Oh my god. Madame Moussel, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is um, it's a um, with uh, some uh, Bacon uh, oh wow, that was a good accent. That's very good. <laughs> okay, no, honestly, what is this? That has uh, bacon, mushrooms, mm -hmm. red pepper, red peppers, and that one pickles. Smoked Smoked meat and pickles. pickles. Let's try. Hey guys, I'm trying the bacon poutine first. I love onion and bacon together. Mm. My stomach just opened up. Mm. <laughs> like, give me. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. The sweetness from the onion. Watch me be a food blogger. Change my career. Mm. It's not salty. It's very good. Gravy is good. Oh my god. Bye blog. I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Alright, first meal in Montreal. Check. Poutine was delicious. Belly full, belly full, full, full. And now we're gonna head to the old port and Notre Dame in Montreal and explore. It's over this very cool coffee shop it's very cute inside it's very nice and it just like fresh pastries and I just realized I feel like we just ate we're full so we wanted to grab some pastries but we're full but I feel like the best way when you're traveling is to eat the least amount because you'll be always eating when you're on the go I guess that's what I'm gonna do so we stumbled onto this jazz festival downtown Montreal we kind of knew about it but we didn't know it was on the way to the old port and to Notre Dame so we're stopping here, change of plan Now we're in Chinatown I bought some glasses guys because I forgot to bring mine. <laughs> guys, how do I look? We went to Chinatown to look for the cheapest glasses ever because I forgot mine. Next up, we're off to the church. 
guys, coffee break first because after that poutine, it was so heavy. I want to fall asleep and it caffeinated me. Thank you, you too. Yeah. Mm, much needed. Alright guys, we made it to Notre Dame and we are now at the square. I'm trying to decide if we should line up and go inside the church, but the lineup is so long, it goes way around the block. And if you want to do this, make sure you do this way early. Come here around 6 a.m., 7 a.m., <laughs> as early as you can and go in there and get the first glance of the church and you should be good to go. Anyways, we're walking away from the church now. We didn't go in. The gates were closing at record. 4 and people were still lining up. We're now walking away from them. We're heading to Old Port now, part of Montreal. So this part is Old Port. <laughs> <laughs> go think the worst blogger ever. <laughs> And look at that, they also have a triathlon going on in the city. How many things going on in the city in Montreal all at once? So Montreal is so great that they can host five events all at once. <laughs> can you imagine? If that was Toronto, the subway would be shut down. <laughs> no electricity, yes. no water. <laughs> so they have Jazz Festival and they have a triathlon. So we just saw this triathlon right now. We just found out it's a world triathlon hosted here in Montreal. So this is a big deal right now and we didn't even know that we are in this city and something's happening. Guys, apparently we're at the smallest bar here in Canada. Look how Gabby's small and the place is small too. Like We decided to get a drink at the smallest bar in Canada. Thank you. By the way, we decided to take shelter because it started raining and we thought it stopped raining and then while we were walking it started raining again. So make up your mind, man. I know it's global warming and all, but damn. So we ordered this drink called Fresh Breeze. A drink inside a pineapple, golden pineapple. So we'll see how it is. The mojito is the best in town. And then I asked him, do you come with it? Bust down, Tatiana, bust down. The Fresh Breeze? Yes. Thank, you. Thank you. Wow. All $24 for ice. <laughs> uh, all I see is ice. <laughs> Alcohol. Yeah. Just grabbing drinks. Making friends with the bartender. We're asking the bartender where we could go and explore here in Montreal. Check out Tampopo. It's okay. actually a very good spot. Okay. Hey guys, it's the dinner time and we decided to grab dinner here from one of the places that the bartender recommended. It's called Tampopo. Our Uber driver took us around the world. And back so. again. We saw Montreal in 15 minutes. Yeah, so this is a very good restaurant apparently. It's mixed fusion, so let's see. Guys, this is very cool. So we're sitting down on the floor instead. We decided not to sit at the bar. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a Japanese style. It's like a fusion Asian kind of thing. They also gave us this towel thingy for our hands. The only thing is their menu is in French and I don't speak French, so Google Translate. However, the words are very similar to English or Spanish, so that I can understand. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Gracias. I was gonna say gracias. Wow. Food's here, guys. Hey, y'all. We're gonna eat. I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's been a long day. Bye. <laughs>